Hello everyone. Good morning, afternoon, evening, or rather good day from wherever you are joining. Please type in the chat which city, which part of the world you are joining us from. And if you're watching a uh, recorded, you can also type in recorded whenever you watch. I'm so excited and I'm so thankful to our next guest, who is somebody, uh, uh, somebody, a serial entrepreneur, somebody who helps the helps people around the world make mindset, lifestyle, and business changes needed to achieve their dreams. You know, dreams. As a business strategist, Rachel applies her experience to coach clients towards personal empowerment and thriving careers. She's in the founder of the successful fitness concept, Ballet Be Fit, director of a successful property company and founder of the Business Training Academy, Business Growth Hub. As a public speaker, she captivates audience with tried and tested strategies for empowerment and business growth. Rachel has been featured on ABC, NBC, CBS, and Fox affiliates as a guest of Hollywood Live. She's also an amazing number one best-selling author with Become a Fitpreneur, which she has co-authored with leading entrepreneurs, including Jack Canfield, to reveal their success secret with the bestseller success. She also combines her expertise in marketing and business strategy with a mindful approach to pair clients' goal setting with a sense of awareness that helps them enjoy each step of the journey. Thank you so much, Rachel, for accepting the, this invite. And I'm we are so excited and glad to uh, see you here. Lovely to be here. It's my my absolute pleasure to be here. Thank you for, thank you for asking me. Um, Thank, Thank you. you. So let's get started. Yeah, we're going to have 20, 25 minutes of power back session. So why don't you tell us about your journey, how you got started and how you eventually uh, landed up where you are helping and coaching so many women entrepreneurs? Yeah. OK, so I come from the dance world. Um, I'm an ex-professional uh, ballet dancer and I left that world um, and I got into property. I enjoy property, but I actually felt something was kind of missing. And I was doing my work, doing my job, had the family, um, focused on, on the children. Don't get me wrong, that's wonderful. Love every moment of it. But I felt actually that I'd lost uh, my identity really and I knew something was missing and actually it was when my uh, daughter uh, I was taking her to school and my daughter she made a run for it and I had to run after after her and I was actually out of shape I, I was so far gone from the um, dancer that I used to be in terms of my physical you know uh, health and well-being and I I felt out of breath. She was absolutely fine. I got her. Uh, but I thought, gosh, Rachel, um, you need to start taking care of yourself. You need to start thinking about uh, yourself a bit more because I truly believe you can't actually fully serve others if you don't take care of yourself. I was, at the time, irritable. Um, I had a low self-esteem, really struggling. That had an impact on my relationship. Uh, with my partner uh, so I decided to get back in get back into dance because that's what I knew I got back into dance started doing exercises uh, get using my ballet uh, technique and then what I did is I started helping other women get back in shape it proved really popular and I started to set up group exercise classes from there Teachers, dancers that I'd known in the past said, "Hey, Rachel, you look amazing. You, you've got a business. Can you help? Can you help us have our own business?" So I started helping other dance teachers, professionals, uh, anybody in the dance industry, really help set, help them to set up their own ballet inspired um, fitness business. Hence, that was really when Ballet Be Fit was born. And now I really do help lots of women really build their own ballet inspired fitness businesses but from there rather like myself 
because I was very nervous when I started out. I, I felt I had a lack of confidence in really doing this, running this business. Um, I knew I had to really work on my own self-development. I studied, I got mentors, uh, Bob Proctor, uh, uh, a gentleman called Pat City as well. And I really developed my... All right, Richard, I think we are having some internet issues. <laughs> All right, while we try to get Rachel back, uh, I'm going to actually uh, read a little bit more about Rachel. Rachel, as she said, is a, is a former dancer who trained with the Royal Ballet here in UK and holds a Bachelor of Performance Arts from Leeds University, one of the well-known universities in the world. Uh, she has also studied and worked with numerous notable dancers and choreographers and teachers, including Dame Alicia Markova, Vasily Tronov, Dame Beryl Gray, and Brenda Last. So while we are hoping for Rachel to come back, if you have any question for Rachel, uh, please put it in the chat. Thank you so much. I hope you're able to hear me, Rachel. Yes, I think I lost you there in a minute. I think we had a... a... Yeah an issue with the uh, connection there but uh, sorry about that but yeah so please continue so you what we were hearing is you were uh, you took ballet uh, from not only performing but then helping other ballet dancers in expanding their business so you may continue from there yeah so i helped i helped them really set up their own ballet inspired fitness businesses and that's really when my, the concept ballet be fit was was really born um helping other people have their own ballet inspired by fitness businesses and from there that really developed into me supporting women and now gentlemen to really uh, have their own business online business I now help uh, people have their own online coaching business I really work with uh, self-development and mindset now um, because I think that that is an integral part of really Absolutely. if you don't have the right mindset if you're not coming from the right place then your business will not be successful. The one thing I've realized on my journey uh, is mm -hmm. the fact that if I've not got the self-belief and if I've not got the resilience and the determination, I'm not going to achieve the goals that I want to achieve within business. So that's when I really started to work with mentors such as Pat City, Bob Proctor, um, and really work on my own self-development to then enable me to now really support other people in self-development along with business strategy. Awesome, amazing, amazing. And I, what I love is that you took what you were passionate about, what you were expert on, and then took it to make a business model out of it. And then now you're taking it to next step where you're helping such amazing women. And I love your niche down. So why don't you tell a little bit more about your niche and how do you help those women entrepreneurs? So really, I mainly support uh, female health and wellness entrepreneurs, really, and, and life coaches, consultants, really how to put together a, a very strong package, a very strong offer so that they completely stand out in the industry, mm -hmm. because it is a competitive industry. There's a, a massive need for uh, support uh, in health and wellness and it's a growing it's a growing market but it is competitive so I help uh, female entrepreneurs really to stand out I show them how to come from a true place of value um, and when you come from a place of value that's that's when you really become successful because the more valuable you become to someone the more successful you will become as well and I put a complete processes strategy i help them with tech overwhelm and i really put all that together to really help them generate a good online income and enable them then to really scale their business to to where they where they dream really whatever mm -hmm. their 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 goal is what their def definition of success is 
Now oh, that's that's such a noble cause, and I love that. And I totally believe that. You now, if you want to go uh, alone, you can go, but it will take you years and maybe decades to go. But if you get a right coach, a right mentor, they can actually shorten your journey and and stop you from making a lot of mistakes. Because as a coach myself, I stopped many times. My coach used to make such mistakes, which I may have done, or my coach have told me, and that really shortens your journey. So amazing, love that. Now, uh, Rachel, you have uh, authored a book. You are amazing number one bestseller. You've also co-authored a book with a lot of amazing, great personality. So tell us a little bit about, uh, because no, two days back, I was celebrating one year of my book, Small Town, Bigger Dreams. So it really intrigues me. How was your journey when you started thinking about, like, maybe I should uh, write a book. Maybe I should share my journey. Maybe I should share some of the secrets. So how did that happen? And, and what has been the outcome so far? I, I think because I come from a dance background, a creative background, I've always wanted to um, express myself. Um, mm -hmm. And I actually really enjoy expressing myself through through writing. Um, and what I wanted to really share, I mean, the reason I do what I do, first of all, is I really want to, one person, one step at a time, however you want to phrase that, I really want to make the world a healthier and a happier place. And now I'm in such, for myself, I'm in a place that I never, I did dream of being in. Mm -hmm. And I'm just an ordinary, you know, just is the wrong word, but I'm, you know, ordinary background, straightforward. Um, and I wanted to show that anybody can achieve their dreams. And that's really why I wanted to uh, write and tell my story. Because as I say, and, and this is what I really believe, if it's in your head, a dream, and if it's in your heart, you, you know, and it's in your passion, in your heart, your soul, you can have it in your hand dream passion reality and i really wanted to share that because all of us i truly believe all of us have been given a gift all of us have a Absolutely. passion and we as we get older we press that we can press that down and i want to help women be able to pursue their passion as i have and that's why i um decided to uh, write a book and then I was very fortunate to be able to co-author with Jack Canfield um, and my uh, part of the book is all about self-belief um, because as a dancer I lived in a world of criticism, uh, mm -hmm. knocking confidence, uh, the idea of perfection and that really is a lesson that I understood later in life that you have to have that self-belief to truly achieve what you want to achieve Absolutely. you have to you have to really understand that when you know that you can do it when you truly believe that and when you visualize that and you feel it with all your senses that's when things will start to happen so that's what i wrote about with um jack canfield wow amazing I, I love that uh, framework that you provide dream to passion to reality and which really is that yeah you have to become passionate just dreaming is not enough but just being passionate is not enough you need to go and make it really lovely so since you worked with jack and field and you also worked with brian tracy if i'm not wrong or or is that coming is that upcoming that's book? coming so i think that book is out uh, i think it'll be out in the next two weeks and that's um, wow. breaking the success code and mm -hmm. that is quite um brian trace is very strategy based so there'll be lots of tips in there on strategy for business he's incredible uh, as well, well so that's indeed. that's exciting so i'll keep you posted when 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 it, when it comes out absolutely I'm super, super and, excited. and anyone who's watching this please go ahead and book your maybe if, if i get the link from rachel i'll post it in everywhere but now please go ahead and, and pre-order the book. This is amazing, amazing. I'm, I'm really excited for your journey. Now, if I have to ask you, like, you have worked with so many industry leaders. What is that one quality that you find in all the leaders that, that makes them what they are? 
what do you think would be that one quality i like their serenity their sense of yes serenity it's bob proctor told me um mm. to respond and not to react and i oh. really all of the, the the amazing people that i've worked with they have this sense that they don't react in that way they do consider they do respond and it's that mm -hmm. sense of calmness that sense of self confidence that sense of self belief with with a real it's an energy i, I can i can i'm struggling to describe the the energy really that I that understand. they that they deliver but it is a sense of of wholeness really mhm mm mhm mm lovely amazing I, I i can completely agree to that do you ha they have a different sense of aura if i may say that you no know, that energy or uh, uh the ability to keep calm in even trying situation and then not reacting but responding i love it so uh let's talk a little bit about uh, entrepreneurship as you already said that you help a lot of entrepreneurs so if i ask you like what do you think are some of the mistakes that any new entrepreneur does and especially we're talking about women entrepreneurs here what do you think are some of the common mistakes that you no know, women entrepreneurs do and what can they do to avoid some of those mistakes first of all i think the biggest mistake is not to take action mm -hmm. <laughs> i i talk to a lot of women and some will make it others others won't the reason first of all is as you, as you said you can have a dream but if you don't take action on that dream nothing's Absolutely. going to happen and if you don't invest in yourself from a personal development point of view but also mm -hmm. from a business financial point of view you're not going to get anywhere you have to take that that leap of faith and you have to invest in yourself and at times you will have to make sacrifices you don't get anything without making some some form of sacrifice that might be initially putting in long hours to then not have long hours at some point mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. have to have that sacrifice and you have to have that real sense of focus you have to have a a, a, a tunnel vision and a focus that this is what i'm going to get this is what mm -hmm. i'm going i'm going out for you have to have balance you have to you have to sleep you have to do self care you have to look after yourself because you don't want burnout but i think we live in a world where everybody expects things to happen instantly like that <laughs> i've been in business now i'm not even going to say how many years i, I don't want to um, but a number a number of years and um, <laughs> and i've had bumps in my road but or there's been i i, I think of it um rather like a journey you you put it in your sat nav you you put your destination in your sat nav and off off you off you go but you come to a road blockage what mm -hmm. do you you don't just stop and turn around and go oh i'm going back home now you reroute <laughs> and sometimes you have to reroute to get to where you need to be and i think entrepreneurs that that sometimes sometimes the ones that don't quite get there there are bumps there will be blockages and you have to think of a solution how to get round that and mm -hmm. i always say it's it's not if this happens it's not can i solve this you know it's how do i solve this it's not mm -hmm. the answer. it's the how how do i achieve this how do i solve this and when you change mm -hmm. something to a how you're looking for that solution so right. that's really what my advice and that's what i see is that when something becomes difficult we sometimes go that's it i can't i can't do this <laughs> all the fear comes in i can't do it just change that to how can i solve it and your your thinking will change and then you will move you will move on but you've really got to want you've really got to want what your goal is if you don't want it yeah. enough it's not going to happen and i believe life does test us to see how how much we really want something i really do believe that 
as well. Wow, I love the best part about these interviews is you get to hear so much wisdom from the guest coming over. And as you were mentioning, there's so many thoughts running around in my head. So I'll probably gonna put one or two thoughts. Like, uh, I do not remember where did I read that, but I so much love that. No, uh, having a coach is, is more like having a GPS and you put in your destination. So even if you miss a road or two or you have a blockage, the coach can always take you through another route. Maybe it will be a little longer, but it it won't be like uh, you won't reach your destination. Or it's like, yeah, it, it says, this is it. Otherwise, you're not going to go. So having that resilience and sometimes we need that external push as well that, yeah, you can do it. And you you are you are good. It's just that it's a temporary setback that you're receiving. Uh, love that. And, and having that clarity of thoughts when you're like, this is what I get. Another thought which came and which I teach to my uh, lot of coaches is now a lot of time. And when when I'm talking about public speaking, people will say, oh, would you be able to speak, say, uh, day after tomorrow? I'd be like, no, I'm not prepared. I, I can't do that. And then I tell them, no, uh, you say yes and figure it out. So even if you do not know what you're going to talk about, even if you're not sure whether you'll be able to pull it off, no. When you say yes, you actually open a window of opportunity. When you say no, it's like you you build a wall which you can't even break. When you say yes, you can open the window. You can figure it out as you go, and maybe and and those are the people who actually go ahead and deliver amazing speeches because then they don't have this ego coming in and they keep on and do explore wherever they can. So lovely, lovely. So Rachel, tell us a bit about uh, how how can somebody reach out to you if they you know, especially the women entrepreneurs in the fitness and. Uh, wellness industry if they want to reach out to you how can they reach out and what are the different kind of services that you are providing so they can reach out to me just purely by checking out my fate my go to my facebook rachel withers hq message message me there message me on my personal rachel withers you can check out my uh, website rachel withers hq.co.uk just reach out dm me and I personally, I'm into the personal touch, the personal service. So I believe that that is so important. I personally will answer messages. So that's how uh, to reach out for me. And I support in helping women. And actually, I do get, I do help gentlemen as well, um, <laughs> but mainly women, um, to really, I help them to achieve their dreams, achieve mm -hmm. their goals. I put together a strategy with them because I why I work on a very personal, more one-to-one -one level is the fact that each and every one of us is different. Each Absolutely. and every one of us has different skills. Each Absolutely. and every one of us has a different, a different dream, a different definition of what success is. So I don't like to put everybody in one one mold. I like mm -hmm. to bring the best out of each and every person that I work with so we have a conversation I discover again clarity on what the goal is what the what the objectives are and then I put together a, a strategy for each and every person to make sure that they achieve their their dreams lovely thank you so much uh, Rachel and ladies and gentlemen this was Rachel with us thank you so much once again for being so open and I just reach out to you once and you readily agree to do session in my mastermind group and also coming live with me so really really thankful guys do check out Rachel with us hq.co.uk and reach out to her she's very accessible and also I am really looking forward to your book with Brian Tracy please share us the link whenever it is ready and all the best and i hope it, it went on to become amazing bestseller or you know, worldwide bestseller as well all the best to you take care and thank you ever so much for having me i've really enjoyed it thank you thank you so much so that was rachel with us and as i say every time we'll have more such guests more and if you have anyone that you feel should be included in these conversations do reach out do message me and like every time as i say keep learning keep growing and keep going out of your comfort zone. This is Haritos. I do hope you have a great weekend. Stay safe, stay connected and take care.